In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we are welcome to a brand new character named Marionette. Or are we? Today, I'm going to be talking about the theory of if Marionette has been here all along. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the player is left with the formidable task of winding up the music box to produce a melody that keeps Marionette at bay. But why is it that the music box is able to keep Marionette at bay? In one of the mini-games, we see a purple car drive up and presumably kill a child from outside of the restaurant. Children within the era of which Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is set would find enjoyment out of music boxes. So was this child really Marionette? Jumping ahead to Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we are very familiar with the layout and there is one particular room which is out of order and we cannot access, and that is the kitchen. Freddy is known to visit the kitchen on a regular basis and play his melody, which is very likeable to a music box. As from Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we have learned that the music box is used to keep Marionette satisfied. Want even more proof? On the Five Nights at Freddy's Wikipedia website, when accessing the sound files of Freddy Fazbear, there is the formidable sound of the music box. Proceeding to download it prompts the auto name system and names it Music Box. Uh, one more thing, don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking. Hmm, music box you say? When listening to the music box, it most certainly sounds more modern than the one in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But that would make sense, as Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is most certainly a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. With knowledge to this, would it be viable to say that the staff at Five Nights at Freddy's have in fact found a viable way to keep care of Marionette without having the night guard have to continually wind up that music box? In Five Nights at Freddy's 1, if the player abuses the power, the power will eventually reach zero, and all doors will be opened. Is this safe to confirm that every single door will become unlocked, including the kitchen? With all information taken into account, here's where this theory begins to set in stone. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, there is a mini-game that features you playing presumably as Freddy Fazbear following Marinette through the bloodied halls of the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 pizzeria. We are led straight to a large gift box of which Marinette presumes to reside. This is the location of the prize corner where the music box is also located. This next piece of information is possibly the most important, and it sits right before our very eyes. On the table to the left hand side sits a small Freddy Fazbear model. Is it possible that this is in fact the music box? In the first Five Nights at Freddy's 2 minigame, the child who is killed appears to be peering through the Fazbear Pizza's entrance door. The last thing he sees is Freddy Fazbear. If Marinette is indeed the child that was killed, it is possible that he was given a music box resembling a small Freddy to honour the last thing he saw before his death. In Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Freddy Fazbear retains his music box ability, yet he is much larger. Could the Freddy animatronic have been rebuilt to cater for the Marinette who over the years grew older? This next section requires us to stop and take a step back. Many crucial elements of information have still been missed which continue to craft this fascinating and incredible story. With this next section, we will begin to understand why Night 4 in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is the most important thing we must understand. In the nights leading up to Night 4, Chica occasionally visits the kitchen. If we observe the sound, we hear the crashing of pots and pans. Based on the intensity of the crash and also its consistency, we can assume this is not an act of accidental destruction. Chica is hunting for something, but what? The minigame showing the child's death entwines crucial information. Freddy Fazbear carries a cake with two eyes that is the colour of a light purple. On your desk in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 sits what appears to be this very cupcake. We know Chica has a connection with this cupcake as she is mostly seen with it, but is this cupcake also linked to Marinette in a much more sinister way? 
Night 4 sees the corruption of Freddy and the other animatronics. On this night, they do not re-enter the kitchen. Freddy also continues to make no attempt to play his music box, but rather, stare deeply into the camera of East Hall Corner with Marionette's recognisable piercing white eyes. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, there is several short sequences of you being able to control the rotation of Freddy's head as he stands on stage. The sequence of particular interest is the one featuring Marionette. We see the formidable glare of Marionette staring deeply into the eyes of Freddy Fazbear regardless of how he rotates his head. However, we must look behind Marionette to understand why this sequence is of particular interest. To the left, we can see a series of draped stars. When viewing the stage in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we can see these exact same stars. This confirms that this is in fact not a sequence which takes place in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Isn't it ironic that of all the animatronic heads you are able to control, it is Freddy. And in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you are given a Freddy Fazbear helmet which is in the same shape as the one we now know is in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Now you may ask, what night is this sequence most known to appear on? The answer is Night 4. With Freddy now being associated with Marinette in a much deeper, personal way, the fact that Marinette appears to be unaffected by the Freddy mask makes perfect sense. <laughs> Freddy's music box is the most prominent thing to play during his death sequence. However, does this play to protect you from Marionette? Freddy is the only animatronic to be fitted with the music box, and he's also the only animatronic that can come from either East or West Hall. We know that this music box is fairly irrelevant towards Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. How do we know this? In the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 trailer, we see Freddy Fazbear on stage holding a microphone, performing the familiar gestures of conversation, showing his music box feature has now become outdated. Recently, Scott Cawthon, the creator of the Five Nights at Freddy's series, released a new image which teases Five Nights at Freddy's 3. On the image, we can clearly see Freddy. He appears old, paint peeling off of him, his eyes attaining the same look and glare that they did on Night 4 in that East Hall camera. It's not Freddy who's still here. Oh no. It's been Marionette all along. Thank you for watching our latest video. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to show your appreciation by liking the video. To stay up to date with all upcoming content, be sure to subscribe 